Hey guys, I'm Nina Zeta with Sidewalker Daily and in today's video, I wanna give you some ideas how you can take one piece of video content and turn it into a bunch of different pieces of content and repurpose it. Whether you're using this video on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, you're probably spending so much time on your videos. For every little 15 second video that you post, I personally know how much time went into creating it, whether it's storyboarding it, coming up with the ideas, editing, filming, all the things. Choose music, putting the caption. I get it. It all takes time. So this video is meant to help you take the time that you're putting into one video and like stretch it out into like 10, 15, 20 different ways, right? So let's start at the very basics and like really where it comes down to is using the video that you're already shooting and reforming, reformatting them, excuse me, into Instagram reels. Obviously when it comes to short form video content, Instagram reels right now is where Instagram is putting all its effort. Mark Zuckerberg and team have told us the importance of Instagram reels when it comes to engagement and discovery, discoverability, excuse me. So we want to make sure we're focusing on reels. So for example, if we did a really long YouTube video, we could cut it up into different sections and use that video as an Instagram reel, different parts, part one, part two, part three, part four. So if this video had six tips, I could break it up into six different reels and six different tips. Arguably, let's talk about repurposing. That Instagram reel can then be repurposed on TikTok and on YouTube shorts. So that's already giving you a bigger bang for your buck, right? You're taking a long form video like this YouTube one, splicing it up into Instagram reels and then repurposing them on different channels. Now, before I keep going, make sure you hit subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and you're interested in all things social media strategy, creator economy, influencer marketing, that's what we love to teach here at Sidewalker Daily. Now let's talk about carousel posts. A lot of times on Instagram, Carousel posts do really, really well, especially when it's a mix of photos and videos, right? If you're able to use some of your older video content and put it into your carousel posts, this is yet another way to kind of shine light on an older video and give it some fresh new eyes. Now, one thing I don't know if a lot of people have done is like you could technically take a video and put it in your stories, right? So sometimes when I make our reels, I'm like, yeah, I'm putting it on reels to get new eyeballs and new people to come watch, but I could take that same reel splice it into 15 seconds and upload it as an Instagram story. And it will be on my IG stories for my current audience who already follows me to be able to see the content, right? So this, I don't mean resharing the reel to a story. I mean, taking the actual video and putting it as a story. Furthermore, to make it stretch even more, hey, that's what this video is all about. We can take those stories and put it as a highlight. If you are a creator or a small business or brand or however you're using Instagram, you should be using your highlights on Instagram strategically. You should be updating them often. So if that means, okay, I'm gonna post a video that's then gonna go on stories and then those stories are gonna be a permanent feature on my highlights, definitely, definitely do this, especially if you're looking to create video content that, you know, talks about your business. So for us at Sidewalker Daily, if we had a video that talked about how we got started and who we are, and we wanted to reformat that and put it as a highlight on Instagram highlights, that would be a great thing for us to do. Now, one thing some of my brand clients love to do is they like to use their videos and use them as ad content. So let's just say a creator or a brand has a really good piece of video content. Not only are they going to use it for reels and TikToks and all the things, they're going to put money behind this post and then maybe use it as a future ad content. So that's something that you can actually do as well if you are using an ad strategy um, within social media. Now, what's crazy is if you think about all the ways you can expand a piece of video content, Facebook has their own Facebook reels right now, right? Facebook also has an opportunity to monetize on longer form video content. So are you taking a video that you're making on YouTube and uploading it natively into Facebook for Facebook monetization or uploading it natively to Instagram for Instagram monetization. This is for my creators here that are looking to get some of that ad revenue. That is also something that you may want to consider when you are coming up with your content strategy. Like, oh, well, I'm already making this long video. I'm monetizing on YouTube. Do I want to put it on other platforms as well and monetize there? Now, I know we talked about Facebook reels really briefly right there. When we're talking about creating one video and seeing, okay, what are all the different ways that we can maximize views, shelf life, all the things, 
Yes, putting that Instagram reel as a Facebook reel, but also Facebook has stories. So if you're creating video content for your Instagram stories and you have a strong Facebook presence, this is also a space that you could, if you'd like, double dip and repurpose the content on your Facebook. Now, a lot of video creators, they try to think, okay, I'm creating this video. Do I want to share it on Twitter? Do I want to post it on LinkedIn? These are obviously, you would have to consider, are these good platforms for you? Do you have an active presence there? Is this something that you're trying to nurture? If the answer is yes, then it would make total sense for you to start posting your videos on other platforms as well. Now, one thing I have done here at Sidewalker, we have a podcast. So sometimes people say to me, Nina, I love your YouTube channel, but I'm always listening to you on cooking or I'm in the car. So we've actually taken um, for our podcast strategy, some of the content that goes on our podcast, Influencer Confidential, comes directly from the YouTube. This is how we repurpose our YouTube content and we put it on the podcast. Alternatively, you can also take the content that you're posting like a long video like this and make it into a blog post. If you go to the Sidewalker Daily blog, all of our videos also have corresponding blog posts because we know that people also like to read their content. Not everyone is watching us on YouTube. So again, this is how we take this one video and make it into a bunch of different ways. Now, if you don't have a blog and you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna make a long video. Do you wanna transcribe it into a PDF or a lead magnet or something that you can use to help you know, drive email lead gen generation or get different signups? Again, you can like make one of your really good videos and transcribe it into a really valuable piece of information that you then ask your audience to um, subscribe to or opt into. Let's talk about YouTube Shorts. I didn't even talk about YouTube short. So in the vein of creating these small short video formats, the short form video content for reels, Facebook reels, Facebook stories, Instagram stories, TikTok, same thing goes with YouTube shorts. You can repurpose this content also on YouTube shorts and have it live longer. We can't forget about Pinterest. Um, Pinterest right now, I've been seeing lots of video pins on Pinterest. Lots of people are taking really valuable TikToks and valuable information. And they're also putting it on their Pinterest account. We have a Pinterest account at Sidewalker as well. So if you have a Pinterest account that you are using for SEO or to drive traffic to your blog, then yes, use those videos as video pins, definitely. One thing that we also love to do at Sidewalker to repurpose our content is we love to use our videos in our email. So we have a really loyal email newsletter fan base that we send out emails to weekly. Um, love my email crew. And our YouTube videos serve as content for our email newsletter, right? So we like go in and send them, hey, there's a new video. Um, and if you guys haven't opted into our um, email list, you should definitely do so. I'll leave a link for you below. We have tons of free resources, tons of free goodies that we give to everyone that joins our list. The videos that we post here on YouTube are one of them. Now, outside of using video in your email campaigns, you can also use them on your website. Like on our website, we post some of our best performing videos on sidewalkerdaily.com to show like, hey, look how great our channel is. You should tune in and um, join our you know creator family and learn with us. So these videos can also be used as marketing assets to, you know, be posted on your website as, you know, different marketing material. All right, guys. So I don't even know how many ways that was. I think we listed tons of different ways that you can take one video and how you can repurpose that content to really make the video live longer, to give you more calendar material. I know social media strategy can take time. It can be super time consuming. So hopefully today's video has given you some good content ideas, how you can stretch out that content and make it last. If you need help with your social media strategy, strategy and would love for me to jump in, I'm going to leave a link for you to book a session with either me or someone on our team. And we'd be happy to help you with your social media strategy and give you guys all the tips that you need personalized to you. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of today's video. Have you used these tricks? Do you have other repurposing ways for all of us to learn together? Let me know, leave it in the comments. I love reading them and I will see you guys in the next video.